Well, we had some great finds in this location. You'll have to watch the video to find out which ones we may or may not have got. Thanks. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another of the Hawaiian Shirt Papa's new Hamburg Thrift Center tour in this case. This is uh, west of Kitchener in, in Ontario. Those are their hours. They're always closed on a Sunday. They were having a plant sale while we were there. But here's some shots from inside. These are individually priced pieces of China. Um, I don't find that encouraging to move a lot of material by doing that. I mean, if you're just missing one or two pieces, sure, it's okay, but then the next person doesn't have the whole set. This was for a set that was a little more reasonable. Uh, the candlesticks were separately priced. Again, a set of four cups and saucers in a blue light blue transparent glass separately priced and some other interesting pieces I did like the way they displayed all of their uh, glassware in China they were in either clear or acrylic I suspect through glass um, shelving units probably from some retail store that is no more or decided to go to a different um, display system. Yep, there's some really gorgeous pieces. Uh, couldn't find any comps on some of them, so they stayed there. I'm not a big one on China in general. Usually these, those two would be interesting. Uh, we did pick up this clock, uh, quite large, uh, and a really interesting display of a restored antique tractor. There's a few, few views of it. A 1938 model, Massey Harris, maker twin, pacemaker twin. Uh, obviously, as, as is normal, you don't get on, or climb onto these things. But they had to actually put the sign there to tell you that why they don't even want to do that. Really well put together and pulled together. And it's a nice centerpiece. How many thrift stores do they have you seen that have a saddle? And it's 50 bucks. I don't have a purpose for it, but if somebody needs a display piece, there's, it's perfect. Yeah, that's about the truth. They had some Hawaiian style women's dresses. Oh yes, I did pick this up. This will probably end up on the Instagram site at some point. And here we are. We started on the outside and I said they were having a plant sale didn't go into that um, I'm not personally I'm not ready for any more plant goods at the moment uh, so I'm just gonna give you a, sh a little quick peek that isn't all that's a small portion of what they were trying to sell the entire side of the building was closed off like uh, a common garden center would be in a uh, say a Canadian tire or a uh, well, certain some grocery stores that do that and these are now inside 
We're just moving through the entrance area. You had some soft goods and some hard goods. There's a collection of artificial f flowers, quilts. And it is Mennonite country, so you may have good good chance in finding um, a quilt that you'd love to have. They're not particularly high priced. Here's the shelving systems that I was talking about in the stills. It makes it a lot easier to go and look around because you can see kind of through to the other side. Yeah, it wasn't one I was particularly familiar with as a manufacturer. That doesn't mean it isn't of value and it's, it's could well be very good for somebody as, uh, to sell on. And we've got the furniture area, some artwork here. There's actually quite a bit of artwork, prints generally, uh, uh, in this place. It, I think the building is a new build. Uh, I guess you get... Uh, more buyers with honey than you do with vinegar. Paraphrasing an old phrase. It's quite a bit of furniture. It's not a bad looking set of furniture either. Oh yes, the African column there. Well, I don't know if it's from Africa, but it's styled that in that manner. Some of these prints I've noticed are faded and uh, lithographs that are faded. I find them to be a bit on the disgusting side, but hey, who am I? Somebody likes it more in the blue green. There's that clock and apparently it had not been there all that long. It'll be at uh, one of the kind if, well, it may have sold by the time this video is actually gets posted. Here's a panorama around behind that wall is the washroom. Um, I think uh, Westwood Avenue chose the buck saw as well that you may have seen there books a certain level of books in here there's there you can see the uh, plant sale on the outside and the clothing men's clothing let's see if we can find anything I did I did find a Hawaiian shirt inspired shirt but it wasn't labeled for Hawaii. It had, in the print, it, it, had, it had another tropical destination in the Caribbean. Picked up a few of those. We were able to spell out our own surname. They had all the right letters for it anyway. They didn't have all the letters of the alphabet, but they did have the ones we needed. There was some more of the furniture, children's clothes and toys, stuffies. I picked up a pair of Merrill sandals here in very nice condition for 15, 15 dollars. There's the shirt I picked up. Like I said, it's not a true Hawaiian shirt, but hey, it's still of the correct type of weather. <laughs> and let's see if there are any others. There are some prospects, but mm, nothing that was really something that was a must have. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of uh, the New Hamburg Thrift store. Uh, hopefully you'll decide to give us a, a, a click on the subscription 
thumbs up and perhaps even one of the one on the bell so you know when the next one is posted see you soon folks thanks a lot bye bye